Tis the season for potholes, and mm. it doesn't really matter where you go. It is a problem pretty much everywhere. Our Hank Flynn is on Pothole Patrol tonight. And Hank, they're not just unsightly. They really can cause a lot of damage. Well, look, Shana, like you said, potholes season. Uh, it is not the, the, the no reason for celebration in a season of vehicle annihilation. It's like a war movie starring all of us. We all have scars and battle stories, but Shana, we also have exorbitant car repair bills. Those were not in the budget. What about uh, what about those? This was not my fault. I went into the pothole. It threw me on the payment. I had to replace this tire. It blew completely out. That one had a bubble. You and Pearl probably have a lot in common. She works hard, she's on a budget, so the wheel wrecking pothole at Broad and Pike last week cost $400. She didn't have to spare. So I missed the whole day's pay. I got disciplined, which is two points, and still had to kick out money for these tires. It's ridiculous. The potholes are ridiculous. When I hit that pothole, my whole reaction was like, what the heck was that? Dennis hit a pothole near his girlfriend's place on Wynwood Avenue, Montgomery County side of City Avenue, a cracked axle and broken bushings on a luxury infinity. When I called my dealer and they gave me an estimate on it, they told me what it was. They told me it's $2,300 worth of damage. It's a ton of money. The hits keep coming, and you paid your taxes. Aren't good roads part of the bargain? If I drive over a pothole and I have to get service again, what am I supposed to do? I, I have to pay for that out of pocket? Depends on how good your claim is and where you file it. Dennis says PennDOT rejected his claim, but a spokeswoman there says Lower Marion owns Wynwood Avenue, not the state. A Lower Marion spokeswoman encouraged Dennis or anyone else who has a claim to file it with township risk management, but state guidelines dictate a careful process that takes time, she says, so patience will be required. Philly claims are also handled by the city's risk management office. And then there's Tony, who today in that Hummer looks like he won the pothole lottery. Yeah, you want something sturdy out here for sure. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable in a smaller vehicle at all. Yeah, and guys, we can't all be Tony if you're suffering from a broken, a broken car. The takeaway here is file the claim if you feel like you have one. Be patient, but follow through. Don't be discouraged from pushing that claim through, but don't expect a response tomorrow or even next week. And the capper here, guys, really is what Scott and Kathy and the rest have been calling for all week long, and that is what we're going to get socked again at the end of the week. Why fill in the potholes if the plows are going to come through again at least one more time? We're live here in Bala, guys. I mean, Hank, as somebody who drives City Ave every day, you are on the right street to be telling this pothole story. It is uh, <laughs> just terrible. All right, thank you very much.